Hello friends, welcome to the 94th session of Hybris tutorial. Guys, in this session, we are going to learn how to enable or disable the Swagger UI in the latest Hybris version 22.11. So guys, first of all, I will show you a brief, uh, you know, a demo of Swagger UI. This is how a Swagger UI looks like. Why Swagger UI? Because it lists the all the web services which are there in your SAP Commerce system. For example, you can see here we do have, you know, uh, exposed multiple OCC web services. Some of the web services are out of box web services, but few of them are the custom web services which we have created. For example, if you remember in our last video, we had created, you know, some of the custom web services related to creation of dynamic business process and static business process. So in this UI, you can see all the web services, whether those web services are out of box web services or those are the custom web services you can see all the web services at a place so that's why most of the developers prefer to use the swagger ui instead of the postman because if you see the postman you will not have the full visibility of all the web services which are you know exposed by a system right but in the swagger ui you will have the full visibility of the web services for example let's say this is the you know one uh, url right this is a get api slash static business process so for if you see in my code in the hybris occ controller so we have already covered the occ uh, you know occ topic in our previous video if you have not watched that video you can watch the video link of video is given in the description box as well as uh, on the top right corner in the card section so you can watch the video related to OCC but what I wanted to show you over here see this is the one OCC web service with the request mapping as slash static business process slash process ID and this web service you know is exposed over here you can you know you can see all these web services list listed over here right now uh, guys and even you can you know hit your web service from the static ui also for example this is the you know uh, we will try to hit this one let's say so currently because this is a secured api this is a secured api so i will just enter the credentials of my api so what i will do i will just give the client id so how these client ids and other things we have already discussed in our previous video but i will just you know enter the client id and client secret which i have created right and once i have you know uh, once i enter the client id and client secret then i will just click on authorize and now you can see i'm already authorized so i will just click on the close now and you can see now what i will do i will just you know uh, go over here i will just give some you know base site id which is a valid one so i will just give electronics you can give your base site id as per your project then i will just give some random you know process id and i will click on the execute so you can see in the backend you know uh, system will you know uh, create or hit this OCC web service which I have created right so it is going into the hybrid tube OCC controller a business process has been created into the system and then even we are getting the response also so you can see we got the 200 response and uh, this was the requested URL right and the system gave back this response right so this means we are able to view all the exposed web services in the swagger ui plus we are even able to test our web service also which we have exposed using the swagger ui right now in this video we are going to discuss which all are the steps which we need to perform in order to integrate the swagger ui with sap commerce so guys i have created other videos as well on the sap hybris so what you can do you can just search with the keyword hybrid tube on the youtube and you can go to my channel and you can go to the playlist and there you can you know uh, watch all the videos which i have created on sap hybrids so i have created almost all the major topics which are there in the hybrids with the scratch implementation 
so you can also watch these videos and you know you can take benefit of these videos now guys if i refresh this ui so you can see i am getting this error and most of the you guys will also be getting this error so why we are getting this error that i am going to tell you in this video and how we can fix this error also that we all that we will also discuss guys before i will tell you i want to show you one thing uh, so we do have here uh, in the modules we do have the web service commons right so here we do have multiple you know extensions one of the extension is swagger integration so this is the extension which is you know responsible for opening the swagger ui so we if we see this is the swagger integration extension and if we open the extension info.xml file so you can see this is how the extension info.xml of the swagger integration looks like its name is swagger integration so we need to make sure that this swagger integration extension is present in your local extension.xml file if it is not present then uh, your swagger ui will not get opened for example if i show you my local extension.xml now so you can see in my local extension.xml uh, file uh, this swagger integration extension entry is not present so if i try to search so you can see there is no extension with the name swagger integration that is why i am getting this error that is why i am getting this error now what i will do guys i will just add this you know extension in my local extension.xml file so you can see i have now added the swagger integration extension and you also have to do the same thing so this is the only step which you need to perform in order to see the or in order to view the swagger ui or to perform any operation or to you know call any exposed web service using the swagger ui so what i will do now so you can see i have added this extension and in case you also don't have this extension added in your local extension.xml file you can also add it and then you just have to build your project so for example you can see i will just bring my server down firstly i have just control c you also have to do the same thing then i am just firing the command and all so i am just building my project so once this build will be finished then i will bring my server up and then we will see whether the swagger ui will be getting loaded or not so we will test it so let's wait for the build to get finished so guys now you can see build is completed now i will bring my server up so either you can bring your server up in the debug mode or you can bring your server up directly by firing the command hybrid server dot bad but because now i don't need to debug any code that's why i will just directly fire this command hybrid server dot bad so this will bring my server up within like five to ten minutes so let's wait for the server to come up and then we will test whether the swagger ui is now coming up or not so let's wait for the server to come up so guys now you can see my server is up and i have the swagger integration extension in my local extension.xml now we will try to you know load the url again and i will give you this url in the description box of this video so you can also try so you can see if i you know hit this url now and the swagger ui is getting loaded now so this means the only thing you need to do is you need to enter the or you need to give the entry of swagger integration extension in your local extension.xml in order to you know in order to view the swagger ui or in order to integrate the swagger with the sap commerce so this is the only change you have to do in case guys you are using ccv2 then you have to do or you have to add the same extension entry in your manifest.json file also 
so if you are or if your application is hosted on the ccv2 then you have to do the changes at two places one is the local extension dot xml second is the manifest.json file so there also you need to and do the same entry otherwise there are no other steps uh, you know to bring your swagger ui up and guys if you want to disable the swagger ui again what you have to do you just have to remove the entry of this extension from your local extension.xml file or from the manifest.json file if you are on the ccv2 and then you have to build your project again and you have to bring your server up again then you will not be you know able to you know bring uh, or able to view the swagger ui so i hope guys this is clear to you how you can integrate the swagger with the sap commerce and guys if you like this video please share this video with your friends thank you for watching bye